everybody what's up hope you're doing well good morning or good night depending on where you are or good afternoon hey you know i don't discriminate um this is a, another portrait study that i did this time i chose very dramatic lighting so that i could kind of further understand the form the way that the orange light hits one side of her face and then the blue light comes in to the shadows i think really shows how round the face is so i think i'm definitely gonna keep studying like really dramatic lighting like this because it's it honestly really helped me understand the planes and even more so i think it helped me understand reflective lighting because the orange is the strong light source and the blue side is i'm pretty sure i'm like i'm still learning so i'm so sorry if i say wrong stuff but based on my um investigation here is that the red light the orange red whatever you want to call it that light is like super strong on one side so the other side of her face is just shadow and i found by experimenting with the colors that it's like a deep red shadow but then there's a light blue light coming into the shadows so honestly like a year ago i would have drawn this as if two different lights were just like fully hitting the face and there would not have been any dimension because i back then i mean even before this study honestly i'm not gonna lie i i didn't really fully understand how you know, if there's light, there's gonna be shadow unless like it's totally overexposed, like a <laughs> really bright headlight right in your face, you know? So where there's light, there's gonna be shadow where the light is not hitting. But that doesn't mean there can't be light coming into those shadows. And that's where like reflective lighting comes in and that, that light can be whatever color. It could be blue, it could be yellow, it could be orange, it could be purple, you know, green. And so studying this specific uh, portrait reference really kind of helped me further grasp that. And it also helped me not to like doze off because I had to really, you know, kind of understand the way the colors were going. Cause it's a warm light and the shadows are a little bit warm too, but bringing in that blue cooled it down. And it was really interesting to kind of like think, <laughs> but I don't know i really don't have much to say and i'm not really sure what's the best way to format these study videos if i should talk over them or just let music play but I mean, i'm just trying different things to see what works so i think i'm just gonna let the speed paint play with some royalty free music in the background because that's just how it be before the speed paint plays i just want to say i know that her pinky is kind of weird and I know that her hand looks like a claw, I guess, but I'm vibing. I'm really happy with how her face turned out, so I really don't care about the hand. I'm fine, you know? If I'm fine, it's fine. Everything's fine. I'm happy. Anyway, here is the speed paint. Peace. 